Well, we've been watching this low for several days because it has the potential to spread some quite severe weather across parts of the UK and the actual track of the low will be critical to what type of severe weather we actually get. There's been a lot of variation between different atmospheric models, some actually run it further north, but we're seeing now that the models are starting to converge and as a result we've got more confidence in the fact that the low is going to take a more southerly track. So what it's going to do is it's actually going to run along English Channel coasts and this means the threat of severe gales is now confined to the English Channel itself and possibly parts of northern France so it's unlikely that southern England will see uh, severe gales uh, but just as one threat moves away another one takes its place and what we're now seeing is a threat of snow. Um, as we go uh, into the early hours of Friday as the low engages the colder air to the north we'll find that the rain starts to turn increasingly to snow. We can see here over North Wales there is a signal for some quite heavy snow and then as we go into the early hours of Friday that area of snow is likely to spread into many parts of the Midlands and possibly up as far as Lincolnshire and Humberside. Now this could be particularly disruptive snow because what's going to happen um, is the rain that precedes it will actually wash off any salt from the roads and then when the snow turns to heavy snow it will accumulate almost instantaneously. So although we may only have several hours of snow it is going to cause maximum disruption. Now the resilience community are aware of this of course and we're keeping them up to date with the very latest information and also I suggest the general public do the same you know, keep a, an eye on our website and make sure they've got the uh, latest information on all the warnings that we've issued. Well, as Friday snow moves, uh, moves away and we move into the weekend, uh, the wintry theme does continue. We see we've got northwesterly winds coming down from the North Pole and it's going to spread quite cold air across the UK. So we'll see a, uh, a scattering of wintry showers in places, perhaps giving some temporary accumulations of snow. But more importantly, what's going to happen every night is there's going to be widespread overnight frost. And this is going to lead to um, icy patches, uh, particularly uh, where there's been uh, late wintry showers. And as we go into the start of next week by Monday, um, I think there's going to be a particularly icy start to the week for many of us.